I searched around baptism, I found this Mauser, and I loved the shape of it, and I thought, wow, there's a sci-fi version of a Western gun, because it had a wooden handle, and it had a, a chamber underneath where the bullets went. And I found a um, telescopic rifle sight, and I mounted that backwards, stuck, and I, I thought the barrel had to look different, so I found a, it was a kind of form of silencer that went on another gun, and I stuck that on at the end. And then I very nervously phoned Lee Studios and said to John, is George there? And he said, yes, and I said, I think you'd better come and have a look at what I'm doing here. So they drove across and came in, and I was a bit nervous, as you can imagine, but George just really liked them. I could see he smiled when he saw them, and we could fire the blanks, and um, these were used and real, and they were exactly what his image of the film was. And this, again, these were the second things ever made on Star Wars, and it kind of, I think, gave George the confidence that he knew I was thinking on the right path. And he was so enamored with the process, he stayed with me, and we made Princess Leia's gun. He stayed, and we, we had super glue. I was just sticking bits on that I found. And that was it. That stayed throughout the whole film.